Dr. Allison Tendler, and today I'll be walking you through our BBL and Thermi RF for treatment of ocular surface disease or dry eye. Right now you're seeing me do a full facial BBL set for vascularity or redness, and uh, um, immediately after that you're going to see me switch settings, and we're going to treat specifically around the eyelids itself. A traditional BBL on the face does just that, goes around the face, but we know with ocular surface disease we want to treat this vascularity closer to the eyelid margins, so we've got uh, settings that we'll use very targeted to the, from the upper cheek to the lower uh, lid lashes up to that lash line, being very careful not to, of course, impact the lashes. But our goal is, and you'll see me do that on the upper eyelid right now, the goal is is to heat the meibomian glands. Yes, um, there is a little heat with each flash of light, but we also want to treat the vascularity that is around those uh, eyelid margins. That's very common in people with ocular surface disease, ocular rosacea. And there's also a bacterial component that the light aims to treat too. Oh, important right now, I'm working on our patient's Shalazian. She's suffered uh, from one on her upper and her lower lid. And so I quickly treated that. The glands around the eyelids be can become plugged and create things like Shalazians and BBL treatment can also be beneficial for for that fact. Going back to the bacteria, um, we've got a lot of bacteria that can live around our eyes, and some of that can increase or intensify the symptoms of ocular surface disease, especially inflammation. Inflammation can lead to poor tear production and also um, increased plugging of these oil glands. Right now I'm doing the Thermi procedure. It takes about 10 minutes per side, and it's very comfortable. It's kind of like a stone massage. I'm working from uh, the brow to the lashes, the uh, cheek to the lashes, and above the brow. We use this in the aesthetic world for skin tightening in this area. It works very, very well. So as an added benefit, this, this is something that may, uh, may help you out there. Um, that heat is important. It helps um, try to liquefy the mybum in the mybomian glands. We want to get that heat up to at least 42 degrees centigrade and have that heat there for several minutes in order to have that effect. It's kind of like hot compresses on steroids in a way. We'll do this to the right eye and then the left eye and that will be her treatment. We repeat this process uh, three to four times, approximately two to four weeks apart in order for optimal results. Patients, of course, continue with their at-home treatment, including uh, oftentimes artificial tears, hot compresses, lid massage, um, or any other modalities that we've uh, decided that would best suit their ocular surface disease condition. This is not anything that is painful and actually can be very comfortable and beneficial all around.